lick it. Go ahead and lick it. Go ahead and lick it. Ew. That's gross. I will lick it if you don't lick it. That is either. gross. I would have licked your window. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It is Christmas Eve at 9 o'clock. We just finished our usual um, Christmas Eve tradition of reading the night before Christmas. Uh, Cindy reads it every year so it's kind of cool. I recorded it and I'm going to post it for you guys. Kind of bring you in on some of the personal ties of my life. Um, some updates because the videos have been a little scarce. Um, December and January are really rough for me at my job because of days off and this and that, and I don't get vacation time. And I work around school schedules. So, like for the next two weeks, I don't have hours. So, um, life's going to be a little light. Car stuff's going to be a little light because Bill's got to come first. It sucks, but it's a reality. Um, another thing for those wondering, um, around Thanksgiving we had a little bit of an issue with my dad. He is doing better. A um, little here, a little there. I mean, he's not perfect, but he's on the mend. He's doing better. He'll be back to work in mid-January, we're hoping. Um, but... I haven't really been spending much time in the garage. I've been more dealing with, you know, making sure my dad's okay, making sure the family's taken care of, the kids, and whatnot. So, it's just a crazy month for us. So this video, not car related, I'm bringing you into a very personal thing that we do as a family. And, I don't know, it just, it, it felt right to, to let you all be involved. Uh, for now, I'm going to head back in. I'm going to enjoy my family. And uh, hey, until the next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Have a good one. It was the night before Christmas. A book to read on Christmas Eve with your children. Drawn near, make some memories that will endure year after year. You got this book in 2012. Hmm? Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Just that little bastard. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. In hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would be there. And he'd be yapping. The children were nestled all <coughs> snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And monsters. And ma and mama and her, her, me. <laughs> her chief. Kerchief. Her chief. Kerchief. Kerchief and in my cap. No, and and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's night. When out on the lawn, those rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away, Away from the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster, luster of midday to objects below. Unlike today, it's foggy. When what That's to our my wandering eyes should appear, Welcome but a Christmas. miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. <clears throat> more rapid than more rapid than eagles. His courser coursers they came and he whisked 
whistled, whistled, and shouted, and called them by by name. Now, now, Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen, on Comet, and Cu- on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He don't even have to. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung his on his back, and he looked like a peddler just oh, opening thirsty. his pack. His eyes, how they, tw- how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose was like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in, spe- in spite my, of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all all the stockings and turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him ex- exclaim as he drove out of sleigh, Merry Christmas to all! And to all, all a good, good night. night. There you go. Yeah. Now that you're done. It's the way we do every Christmas. Now nobody can open the book again until next year. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's sealed. It's sealed. <laughs>